So look at the Nora, the wealth, and see what I'm doing here. I will use my biro to separate between the two lines until they match together. Can you see? Please, here, here. This is where you get the measurement, your hand. Your hand should be touching the weld like this and the sole together. Then the biro goes straight. And then you mark around. Can you see? That is how you do it till you round the shoe. Did you see? You round it like this until you round the shoe. And now, when you're done, you carry your razor blade and you and then you started tracing the line you have marked. When you are tracing, make sure your hand is bent so that you get slant cut. Can you see? Now you are going to see the outcome in the next few seconds. So, I am done now. Can you see? The one I cut, I took it off. Now, this is how it looks. Can you get? This is how it looks. Like this. Did you see? So, when I'm done cutting, I peel it off once. And I have this now. You see? So, I have this now. Now, this space you are seeing here, this is where the shoe is going to lap now. Now, take for instance, this is what I have here. This is it. This is it. This is how it's going to lap. So the initial gap you pull from the beginning, this is it. That gap you pull from the beginning, it represents this world. So, however, we are going to be doing it together. If you are ready, I am ready. Commence your job. Snap and show me screenshot. And then we proceed. Good luck. So... This is our level of finishing for the female cover shoe that we were doing. We are done with the sole all through and here is the last finishing of the sole. We apply our super glue, the shoe glue, and then you ensure that you circulate the gum properly down to the last part of the shoe, round, the sole of the shoe, round. So quickly we are going to bring you back to the next segment all right guys so welcome back as you can see i've applied my glue all around and this is what i arrived at can you see can you see now at this point if i have my black polish or dye i will apply and it will become more shiny and beautiful than like this and then if i have my polish machine this is the time to apply use a polish machine to polish the soap and you arrive at exactly what you see on pouring soap this is what you're going to get so on this we are just about to wrap up our female cuff shoe so you're welcome to the last finishing of this job by God's grace, this is how it's going to be. This is what we're going to be getting from our work in the next few minutes. So expect something great, something sweet. Yes. I hope you see it from afar. This is how it looks from afar. Thank you. Yeah, Michael. All right, guys, you're welcome back. Now, after you have added your super glue you need to get this your sandpaper please don't do it with machine yeah the machine might override it but doing it with this it will be more careful and more observant so now this is what i'm going to be doing use it to file round tracing it around to the other side of the sole you see from black it has changed color now from black look at the color i have now it's becoming whitish, isn't it? So you roll it up. You continue until you do this round. 
all right so i'll bring you guys back again shortly all right guys you're welcome back now at this point i'm going to be using uh my shoe shine liquid black polish all right to give me what i want on this shoe hey <laughs> the, the liquid came out rush so sorry about that to myself uh oh can you fix this okay so now look at the only thing you need to do is polish round polish round yeah this is what you need just ensure that you go round and then you allow it to dry allow it to dry once it gets dry Wada, you are there. So, this is the step before the final coupling. All right, guys, I'm back. Don't mind me, you know, Salah is going on. So, <laughs> your boy is just chilling. He's just chilling. And I wish you guys are close so that you can come and join my barbecue uh, 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 entertainment section. I'm just chilling in the shop, just chilling, like, like, I'm just eating meat, meat, like meat, 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 chicken. it has been chicken, meat, chicken, yeah, oh, you know? so, <clears throat> this is what I arrived at, after everything, can you now see the soul? It look like pouring now. Can you see the zone now? It's all now beneath us. So at this point, I already have my gas. I was bringing up the gas right now and then finish it up so you see. So guys, let me have the gas please quickly. So guys, can you see? You must be very careful on how you keep your gas uh, fitting. This is very, very essential. You must not take the two hands at a time. No, the heat will be much. So what you do is you drop one, and then first of all, take one to the light. Can you see smoke from there? Smoke is coming out. That is the power of the heat from the fire attracting to the adhesive gum. So I do this until I feel comfortable. Now, everywhere has gotten what I wanted. So the next thing is for me to drop this and then pick my soul and then I proceed. Now remember that this purifier has this tendency and power to separate these words from the soul. So you must be very careful on how you place your soul on the fire. You don't take it down to the fire. Just get the heat of the fire and then you turn to the other side and then you get the heat of the fire and after that you take off everything. Just as if you are counting some seconds. You can count one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, you can proceed on your gumming. Please, can you take this fire down? Okay. And here is it. So, looking closely to this, you will see that there is a mark of the insole which helps me to file accordingly can you see that there is a mark can you see the mark can you see the mark so i file within the contents of that mark and then this sole can you see how i cut the i shared the welds into two the slender one is what is remaining and it has it was caught slanting so you are welcome again 
once again to James Olibran Shoe Production and Training Center. And I proceed. And I proceed. And I proceed. Now, at this point in time, I want to tell you that now the process of cobbling your shoe required serious strength strength like serious strength okay it requires serious strength without serious strength you cannot get what you really want you cannot get the quality you needed on the cobbling you need the shoe when you don't have the pressing machine the pressing machine helps you at all time to press together the the, the sole and the top for you to arrive at excellence in cobbling so when you don't have it you must apply the physical strength the physical strength is really really needed so you use the physical strength to press down you can see how my veins are rolling up can you see the veins that's what makes me a man yes a hustler for that matter so this is how to do it you must make sure that you use your muzzle you press down very very well to get a quality uh, 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 lash up or cobbling you will be shocked when I'm done with this job you'll be like wow this was made in my present yes of course we made it in your present and tomorrow we're gonna to be working on I think a Debbie or a loafers or Oxford one will be done tomorrow from the sketch down to the end, I promise you guys, you're going to get a video of that tomorrow. Soon as I come to the workshop tomorrow morning, I'll commence that project. Still on the matter, still pressing down, still ensuring that I get the best. Still ensuring that I get what I want. So at this point in time, I want to tell you that this is what we made out of our class training, the practical, by the special grace of God. Uh, the neatness, I won't say it's 100%. I leave that for you. Uh, the cobbling system, I won't also grade it. I leave it for you. But this is what we have made so far. Sorry about this little wrinkle. I will fix it up uh, before I take off the last properly. So that's not a problem. Yeah. That's not a problem. Can you see that? So you can see what uh, 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 the steel does for us here. Yeah? This is the importance of the steel. Smooth and excellent finishing. It's awesome. Isn't it? It's awesome. So you guys are welcome to my workshop. This is one of the phase of my place of work, my factory where I do my jobs and my apprentice my students also have their own places where they stand to they sit to do their work so i wish you guys all the best now at this point i am done and i am still feeling it needs to be bind together properly so i now use my hammer my hammer my hammer my hammer my hammer, my hammer, and this is it. I am done. So, you guys are welcome to James Olibran Shoe Production Training Center, and <laughs> we are your number one uh, online training school that gives you and ready to give you the best at all times. God bless you once again. I believe that. This training will be very, very uh, impactful. And I strongly believe that there will be no regret in joining this class through what we have done so far. So I wish you guys all the best. Thank you.
All right, guys, you're all welcome to the Full Branch Production. Guess who I have in the building? I have Cynthia Jasper. Woo! My student, Woo! those days, Woo! last year, a super celebrity Woo! shoemaker right now. Yeah. She's in the shop to see what we are doing. Yeah, for our online training. Cynthia, say, well, just say hi. Hi. Yeah, say hi again. Hi. Yes, so. So, from James Oliver Show Production, we are here. And we have Emmanuel Jude in the building. Emmanuel, say something. Say something. Hey. That's one of my latest students. Yeah, the guy with swag. Yeah, yeah. All right. Swag. And here I have the latest celebrity shoemakers in town. Those guys that graduated from my school on Saturday. Abdul Sharapa, say hi, say hi, say hi, say hi, say hi. hi. So, hi. what do you have to say? How did you see today's job? It was fine. It was fine. Oh, we have Justice Colonius. Where is Justice? <laughs> Just say what, say what, say what. Say. I'm greeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that all? Yeah. All right, guys. Nice to meet you. If you don't have a handwork, look for a handwork. If nobody to teach you a handwork, if you can learn shoemaking, just talk to me, chat me up, and I will teach you for free. There's no born there. Nobody That's teach so. me, and nobody go stop me from teaching you. Now God give me this talent. I get bored, so when I say nobody teach me, I get bored. But I mean, say nobody teach me for free. But I will teach you for free because the world now is a world of humanitarian. It's a time to help. It's a time to touch life. It's a time to add to people positively so that our world can change together. Thank you, guys. I love you. Oh, my God.